what's good youtube this is mark from creative pen and today i'm going to take you guys through my drawing process in photoshop we are really going to be drawing live and i'm gonna find out that i wouldn't be speeding up this video in any places so this is going to cover up all my drawing process right from the beginning to the ending but note there will be no painting in this video you're just going to be all about sketching and so okay so i have my photoshop open and i have my document size right here and in case you don't know my document size i'm going to go up to image and an uh, image size or you make use of the shortcut alternate plus control plus i to open up your image size so here is my size and i'm going to set that to pixel so that you can see that perfectly so i have it set to 2480 by 3508 and i have the resolution set to 600 now you don't want to make use of the resolution 600 depending on the kind of pc you are making use of my pc can process the resolution 600 that's why i'm making use of the 600 resolution so that's it for the image size and nothing more than that the reference we are going to be working on it's somewhere around here which is this and i have a lot of reference i got all these from pinterest and you can download just check on pinterest and you see you get so many bots which you can just save or you can also download from maybe i'm going to leave a link in the description to my own pinterest account so that you get to see the bots i have on pinterest so that you use them for your own inspiration well i have over 151 right here but we're not going to go through all this stuff we are just going to pick only one and for the reference um software i'll be making use i won't be opening up opening up my reference in photoshop so i'll be making use of another reference app called quadro or quadro or quadro anyone but i've given up this reference to you guys this reference software for you guys to download and i'm going to also leave a link in the description where you are going to download this so i already have the quadro open when you download the file you just want to double click on it and open up the quadro it's going to open in your notification area so you just want to click on this little arrow to expand the rest of your notification area and just right click and hit on add local image and it's going to open up your file explorer then you have to browse through where you have the local image so these are the reference i got from people that i've worked on so far but i'm not going to be working with all this one so we're going back into my pinterest folder where i have the reference we'll be working on and here is the reference we are going to be working on today so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to put it right here and i'm going to want to increase the size just like this and i'm going to right click and hit on fit to the window so that it's going to fit into the window and this is practically okay by me so now the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to select my brush right here now you just notice something that the reference photo just disappeared as i press on photoshop let's click on photoshop so i'm going to click and bring it back and i'm going to right click and set it to what always on top so that it's going to be on top no matter how i click on photoshop it's never going to disappear from this part so i'll head over to my brush pad and then i'm going to select okay i want to make use of my brush back right now i'll be making use of another sketching brush but i just really want you guys to see everything i'm working on so i'm gonna stick with my pencil brush right here and um the color i'm just gonna set it to a mid um kind of like a dark gray so that you can really see that very well so in order to make things so much okay for me to draw right here what i'm going to do i'm going to open up another reference and one thing you have to know is that with this quadro you can open up as multiple reference as you like it all depends on the numbers of reference you want to use to draw and so on so i'm going to right click again and hit on add local image and i'm going to double click on the reference again and it's going to open it but this time it opened it from the other side so this is being minimized to my desktop so i'm going to open this and bring it right here and i'm going to right click and here it will always on top and i'm going to go back into photoshop and i'm just going to place this right here and i'm right click and hit on um flip horizontal so that it's going to be 
and the other part so you can see that this app is very very useful for you to use it as a reference um app to open up your reference so it, it almost work like photoshop just some features not like photoshop but just some features which you can use to work on your reference in photoshop it has that too as well so i have my brush selected and my reference open up now i have all this stuff being like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to hit on tab so that i'm going into full screen mode something like this i'm going to move this to this part and i'm going to move this to this part that i just going to be that way um i'm just going to increase this a little bit yeah just something like that and i'm going to right click and hit on fit to window now note the fit to window and fit to image is different if we set it fit to image it's going to fit into the particular size of that image but fit to window the image is going to fit into the size of the window and if you set it fit to image the window is going to fit to the particular size of the image so we just like the opposite it's doing the opposite of each other so first I've, I've not even created my new layer so i'm going to hit tab and go back into photoshop i'm going to set the create a new layer and i'm just going to rename that layer sketch sketch All right, sketch, and this is an upper case where I don't really care about that. So I'm going to hit tab again to go into this full screen mode, and I'm just going to align it right here. Now I'm going to grab my tablet, and um, first thing you need to know when you start drawing, you don't need to try to get capture the whole shape of the head and everything just like that you don't really need to capture everything you just need to start off with the basic shape because that's how i always draw i like starting out with the basic shapes of the proportions and i start going into building it little by little so i'm going to start off like this and it's been a reason why i did this so i might be a little bit frustrating why doing this right now but you just have to you know just have to stick with me and let's go so we have it this way going like that so i'm going to start off from that part and just um that's a little bit okay so we are just doing don't try to be perfect at this point like i said we are just trying to get the basic shape so it doesn't really matter if you create multiple lines also So I'm going to skip the ear for now and um, I'm just going to go inside of the face and I'm going to curve this right here. So there's a little bit of an error right here so I'm just going to fix it with this stuff just like that now the neck have the neck right here
So now that we have the basic basic shape of the skin, let me just say the skin, then let's go into making the hair. So the hair is starting from this part and we have a little bit of an issue right here. So I'm going to switch into my eraser tool by holding down the E key on my keyboard and I'm going to erase this part. And um, decrease the size of the brush. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to bring this out a little bit because it's a little bit coming out. So. all right so we have that now let's deal with filling in the hair so it all starts from here so i'm just going to see we continue with the basic shapes i'm not going to try to get the main every little details of the hair because you don't want to do that because it might really crumble things for you you don't need to go perfect while doing all this stuff i've been doing a lot of ctrl z right yeah and that is a little bit crazy for me So let's just see. Let's take this right here. Let's take this right here. All right. So um, I'm gonna bring this down. Okay, and this goes in just like that, and it's freezing right here. Not almost the same length. So I'm gonna reduce this. Let's see, somewhere around here. Let's just bring this in a little bit, okay? So, here is a little bit, okay? Don't worry about the lines, we are going to fix all that later. So, this is fine. Alright. Okay, so this is fine. So, we've got this now, we've got the basic shape of the so I'm going to I'm going to grab my move too, and I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. So now we can go into the face, bringing out the face, and so. But this we just captured the whole shapes of everything, and I hope you guys really get this real close. So this hair, I'm going to fix a little bit of something right here. Don't worry about my line. We are going to fix all this later. So we'll have maybe maybe I'm just going to bring this out. Feel free, feel free to do whatever you like at this place because you are just trying to get the basic shape. You are not trying to go into details of everything. You are just trying to get the basic shapes of everything you are working on so it's just really the way you draw you don't just go into the theory the first time when you are drawing even when you are drawing traditionally you don't just do that so you just have to be patient and get to go with all the shapes little by little you know you know it's going to be so much frustrating but you just have to do it because it's really what you do so you just you just really have to do it you just have to do it yeah you just have to do it so we have the lashes so we have the lashes right here so i'm just going to yeah i always have some issues trying to put lashes and so on most times but we're just going to 
try to figure that out right here and now so i'm just doing this so that you guys are really going to see that there is nothing really special when we draw at the back it's just all about trying to build the basic shapes of everything and make sure we get the real shape because most times when you see us just paint it's gonna feel like um we are doing some kind of a magic behind the scenes so i just want to do this so that you guys is going to see i just want to do this in real time without speeding up this so that you guys are really going to see the whole workflow of everything um working on so we have the the nose so i'm just going to create a little line um i'm going to take that back Have something like that and a little bit is that really big not really so I'm just gonna use this line and bring that up so I'm gonna say that line this line right here it's the line right here so I'm just gonna use that to bring out the nose okay so we have it somewhere around here so how do you know somewhere around here and i'm gonna bring that out too so we have that so I'm just going to add a little block right here all right so now let's head back to the eyes which is right here so I'm just going to make use of them um,
so if you find out like some place is not really working so you can make use of the last or two and um try to bring them back a little bit Okay, now it feels like we've got the whole basic shapes of everything. It's time for us to start filling in the re. It's time for us to now fill in the real shapes of everything. So I'm gonna hit the B key on my keyboard and hit the tab to go back into my layer part. And I'm gonna shift this and the sketch. I'm gonna low, lower the opacity of the sketch so to somewhere around this. Okay, so this is okay and I'm gonna move this backward and hit on tab again to go into full screen mode and before doing this I will go back and add a little bit of smooth into somewhere around 10 just that and I will go back into the tab mode so this time I will want to zoom into see exactly what i'm doing so it's time for us to start building in the reshapes
so for the eyes i'm going to rotate the canvas i just hold down the r key on my keyboard and i just click and drag to rotate so that's what i do
Okay, so now we've done with a basic outline of everything. So it is time for us to start adjusting most of the things that is really going to make it look like our subject. So I'll go back into the main Photoshop layers and um, I'm going to turn off this sketch. So this is what we have so far, looking so much good and better than the first one we have. So I'm going to turn this off, turn up the first one. So look at what we have, it's really nasty, right? So but we have this and this is a little bit okay really cool like this is not my full best but i just want to show you guys my workflow on how i sketch when i really want to sketch this is how i really go around sketching and i hope this really really helps you guys help you guys a lot to sketch when you keep practicing keep doing it every time every time it's really going to help you and build up the way you sketch so far and i really hope this really helped you guys so i will just go back and refine some part a little bit that's really going to be better for me so i'm just going to do that right now like the nose um i guess i would need to switch back into this part and um i'm going to change my eraser to the sharp eraser okay so that will be better for me so I'll go back into the full screen mode okay so I have my caps locked turn on so I'm just going to reduce the size of the brush and try to erase all right, switch back to the brush too. So this is just a rough fixing of everything in my next sketching tutorial i will go into a full details on how you guys can fully sketch and build up your and build up your drawings that it's really going to be okay for you guys so i just want you guys to see that there is nothing serious we do whenever we sketch and just come on screen and start painting there is nothing really different it's just the basic way we go through all our workflow to make sure that it really turns out to be same so i try to make use of something before i make use of i make um an art story and not too long ago i guess probably some months back where i sketched with these geometry lines and um the difference there is that that is a speed video and this is not really a speed video this is just really the basic of how you can get um this is just a way of how you can sketch or how my sketching process go most times and so on so this is how i do then i keep on going refining and refining everything till i finally get exactly what i want but you should know that this is not my best compared to all my sketch which you guys have seen this is not really my best but this is really going to take you guys through my um sketching experience and sketching workflow so i'm going to recommend this for beginners when you look at this and go through this it's really going to help you guys 
know how to draw and make it so much awesome for you guys like i'm going to show you what my final sketch always looks like when i um when i sketch with this method so i'm going to move this somewhere around here and move the other one to to this part so we'll go over to Fi and open my recent and open this hairstyle so this is what i'm what i'm working on you can see this on the last video where i showed you guys this when where i showed you guys how to customize your workspace like a professional so i'm going to turn off all these so this is the sketch and this is what i have so this is my final sketch of everything i couldn't put in more time i use in doing this one the way i did right here so this took me about an hour plus to refine this sketch to get exactly what i want so if you guys um make use of this method that i just showed you and you keep on practicing it's really going to take you to this level and you should know that sometimes sketch you, you don't really need to have a perfect sketch for you to start painting now you can refine your sketch and refine everything and the process of you painting and so on so most times that is what i do i um sometimes i have a rough sketch and then uh, i get to paint over and try to modify everything with the painting um let me check if i can get some of all those um rough sketches which i have done within the part so that i can really show you guys that as long as you're really going to paint you um really most times don't need to have a perfect sketch for you to start doing your painting except you know yes you just want to have a perfect sketch that it's really going to be okay for you to start painting then you can always do that yeah it's really going to be helpful so let me check out this um this is something i did a couple of days okay this is very nice to make use of the black outline and so on but i'm just going to show you so let's see this is the main stuff itself so this is the line i already pinned something on the line whoa this is a mess so i'm not really going to be showing you guys with this so let's check for something else let's check let me check for something else Okay, I think I have. Uh, I'm just gonna use this to show you example to all this stuff. So I'm gonna turn off all these layers. And I'm gonna turn this on. So now you can see the sketch is not really as good as it seems. Not really looking so good, but when I paint this, it's really going to be looking so much. Okay, so that's going to be it on this video, and I hope this little sketch. This little method I've shown you guys on how to sketch really, really help you guys to start up sketching in Photoshop. Now, I want you guys to know that um, when you start get sketching digitally, your first sketch is not really going to be perfect. And you have to know that when you are getting perfect in your sketching, you get to build your sketch more and more, more and more before it's really going to give you exactly the way your sketch is going to be or the way your reference is really going to be. Now, if I want to continue building up on this, you can see right here that I couldn't even add up the ears on the other part. And there's a little bit of ears right here. And there are some things I can really correct if I want to go ahead and keep painting and so on. So the face is a little bit wider here and mine is a little bit smaller right here. So I can just open up the face and start fixing out every other part. And for me to do that, I will have to create a new layer above this layer and start fixing all those stuff. So I make a rough fixing on this layer and I head over to start making some fixed all over to this part that is really going to be awesome for me and something that i'm really going to make use of so that is going to be it in this video don't consider this as a perfect sketch i just use this to show you guys our sketching workflow and try to help you guys back up you guys from stop tracing to stop tracing really really stop tracing so that is going to be it on this video and if this video really helped you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you my friend don't miss any new tips tricks and videos i'll be uploading every week so see you guys in my next video and make sure that you stay creative